Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast of the round of 32 game 1 match between Nuru and his undead up against Spartacus with his lizardmen. Looks like Spartacus won the toss and chose to receive. Um, Nuru won his group, the only bash coach to win all three of his games, funnily enough. Uh, Spartacus was runner-up in his, thanks to a couple of one turns he scored actually, including one unbelievable one. Uh, a pretty standard build from Nuru, and a rather crazy build from Spartacus. Um, only three block, two guard, and a tackler, so a very interesting build from Spartacus. This is very blue, isn't it? Both teams are very blue. Should we go red and blue for this match? Maybe not, I mean... It's tough, isn't it? Yes. Alright, we've got a yes. It's because, the, it's because the blue of the undead match the blue of the lizards, right? That's the problem. Like, if they were darker blue, it wouldn't be so bad. So yeah, okay. Okay, let's go red and blue. And um, I'm I'm starting to remember these things actually about the people here, <laughs> how they qualified and uh, where they're from and stuff. It's uh, I've done so many games now. It's it's somehow sticking around in my head a little bit, but uh, not completely. So I can tell you, Nuru's French qualified through Franco Ball Road to the World Championship. Spartacus is also French, qualified through C5. No, official I won't playoffs. give in until I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Oh, thank you very much, J Can Style, and uh, welcome back to Team Fantastic. Feel notorious. Thank you very much. And good morning, Walter. Um. Yep, so he's got, we've gone for the Chameleon Skink 2 reroll. I do like the 2 reroll build. But this is, this is interesting, right? Because when I was building my team, I was building with drawing in mind. So I was going minimal rerolls, more players, hard to lose. But the problem is, what if you lose the first game? Now you've got to go for the win. So maybe three rerolls was better. Maybe the three rerolls, no, no reserve was better for, you know, for the this men here and maybe three reels was better for my dark elf team as well maybe that was it maybe pushing for the win you know if things go wrong you've got to win right so ah i was so focused on like just trying not to get diced and lose maybe i should have thought about rolling the dice to win in, in the situation that you know you've got diced in the first game i don't know it's easy to overthink it isn't it so, Moomin Slayer, the format is, this is game one, they, they are going to play two games with no overtime. If after those two games there, are, there is a winner, and uh, it's no, you know, just purely on results, not, no touchdown difference or anything. So like, you know, if they've won and draw, we've got a winner, so that's it, it's over. If, however, it's been two draws or a win for each side, then they play a third game, which does have overtime. And that's what's happened with Jay Leave and Olivier Delac in their game. In their confrontation, they, uh, they've both won one game, so they are going to play a third game at some point to be decided in the future. Of course, if you win the first game, then you've just got to try and hang on and draw in the second, so the not losing looks pretty good then, doesn't it? If you win the first game, then just trying to hang on and not lose looks pretty good, but... The problem is, if you lose the first game, you've got to throw everything at them to win the second, haven't you? And um, we don't know. They haven't. They haven't. Um, they haven't organised that yet, punter. Unfortunately, but it was very cool that they played instantly after the draw. I'm glad somebody did. I, I always think it's cool if somebody plays straight away. So he did fill the pickup. No re-rolling, obviously, because he's only got two, and he also made a removal. And now. I'm surprised at this manoeuvre from Nuru, straight in. It wasn't a blitz, he just moved in. I don't know what it achieves. 
or anything. Is he going to put a guard in there? But then, then the then the mummy should have been in there, right? Ah, he's going to put the guard in there, and he's going to stand this guy up, and he's going to blitz from here. Weird. No, nope, he's going to blitz the blocker. Well, it's not what I would have done. I would have tried to, you know, take a seventy-five percent knockdown rather than a fifty-five. But I guess it makes sense in that it, you know, leaves less stuff in contact. But it doesn't mean it doesn't have to do. Oh, and he blitz with wrestle actually, didn't he? Yeah, he blitz with wrestle, so he would have, he would have got the knockdown, just not a uh, AV roll. Hello, oh, Dimmy. You like re rolls? I mean, I love re rolls, but there's certain something to be said for the solidity of the twelfth player, especially with overtime. I think it's really cool because you've got a, you've got to pick a team. That's hard to beat. You've got to pick a team that can win in overtime, and you've got a and you've that can last to overtime, right? And then you've got to you've also got to pick a team that can actually win when it has to win. I think it's a really, really, really great format, honestly. Well, talk about it. Yes, are you playing tabletop tournaments? If you, I think if you're playing tabletop tournaments, I, I would agree with you. You know, I did pick. I did indeed pick three re-rolls for the NAF qualifier, which I finished second in and qualified for my second time. <laughs> I did two qualifying competitions and qualified for them both, just quietly. Um, so in that one, I took the three re-rolls because you're playing 16 turns. And to win in 16 turns, third re-roll is obviously better. I mean, I don't think there's any debate when it's when it's only 16 turns but when there's overtime i want some players on the pitch thanks dimmy mm. really lovely fellow you are dimmy oh, he's blitzing the mummy i mean this is the problem with engaging with the mummy but actually very clever very clever little uh, position of the ghoul to force this, or maybe this, I don't know if this guard could reach or not. Maybe the guard should have just gone there. <laughs> That's the other option. In fact, it didn't need to be guard, did it? Uh, I don't know if the guard could have reached here. If the guard could have reached here, then the guard should have definitely gone in there, shouldn't it? Um, <laughs> don't ruin the nice version of <laughs> Uh, so bad dice rolls from new from Spartacus. I I know there's a difference. I was gonna make this pick up, and he fails again. But there's no threat from the ghouls, is there? He's completely protected. Like this is the thing you can just play to cover the failures, right? Like now nah, this is a danger one. The next one near the sideline. But um, it's like skull two skulls in a cage. Hmm. So yeah, I mean he's completely covered against the failure, in no danger at all. You could maybe nip a nip a goo around the back here, I guess. It's it's grim though, isn't it? Fighting sore is like, oh my god, what can you do? You can you can block a dude with your mummy, you can blitz a dude with your mummy, and everything else just feels terrible as it gets banged on by Saurus. I mean, the thing about this Saurus is it can't get hit, right? This Saurus just can't get hit. But yeah, th this one, this one, he should have, he should have put the guard in there, I think. And knocked it away. I'm favouring Nuru. I'm favouring the group winner in nearly every single match, funnily enough. Um... I think this is yeah 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 so it could have been it could have been indeed yeah I think uh like maybe Spartacus right but he's got a weird build if it was normal lizards if it was normal lizards I'd favor normal lizards but this is so weird with the two guard and the tackle 
I don't want to predict it winning. <laughs> and, you know, Nuru is a group winner. Honestly, I, I'm 13 group winners, I'm predicting the group winner, right? 13 games, I'm predicting the group winner. And I think two are really, really close. And one, I'm predicting the group winner. So he's going to have to blitz from here. Here. Like, the guards are actually good, right? Like, the weird thing is, I feel like Spartacus might be really good at Blood Bowl because all of these kind of... They, they always seem to be in the right place all the time. He didn't follow. I thought he'd have followed for the uh, 2D on the guard with block. The go go bit, I think, is really close, and I think Diamed versus Nabolo is very close, and I think Davo's favoured versus Truk. Don't like this 1D, to be honest, but I guess it does. It did save his guard of getting punched, which maybe was worth it. And now he's got to dodge away from Tackle. Fails. Tackle has an effect, and it makes a removal. Flip me, guys. Massive impact from the random tackle. <laughs> well, it's not random, is it? You know, he's picked it and he's put it in the right place. But, um, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe that guy on the uh, on the Euroball Discord that said real, real, um, real lizard man masters use three block. Maybe he's correct. Maybe he is correct. Because... Honestly, these guards and tackle have been great. Be my wingman anytime. Spartacus has impressed me the most. Um, from initial expectation to reality, right? Hello, Shambatat. Thank you very much for the raid. Glorious. Welcome, Shamba viewers. Four, 200. Four. Um, because, you know, like, people like Diomed, Andy, Strider... Olivier, they're not careful. They're not. They're not impressing me because I already know how good they are, right? Um, whereas Spartacus is the one that I didn't realize how good he was. Um, I think he's played great. So yeah, I would definitely put Spartacus in that bracket based on these four games, probably. So there you go. Which, funnily enough, I wouldn't have before. Well, the funny thing was, I played him in Rebel um, a lot of years ago, like six years ago. And he's got a lot better in those six years. Um, and, you know, he's in Chalice a few times as well. And he's got a lot better since then. So, yeah, absolute top tier. <laughs> Underworld, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he had Underworld when I played him. So... He's definitely impressed me the most in this. I mean, Nabolo. <laughs> Nabolo, even though he won every game and scored 10 touchdowns, he also made 30. Oh my god, the ball's been in the crowd. Maybe he should have rerolled this one. He also made 13 Kaz, so. Um, he didn't really. You know, like, all of his wins were easy. He didn't really have to play well in any of his games to win every game. I know that might sound stupid, but. Like, bizarrely, Nabolo hasn't really showed how good he is, hasn't had the chance to show how good he is, because he's just smashed everything to pieces. <laughs> but, I mean, he's, he's gone 56 games. See, I heard he'd gone 56 games unbeaten on tabletop, so already I'm expect my expectations go up. So, yeah. yeah, that was a pretty good throw-in, wasn't it? I mean, I, as far as they go, it could have gone down here. And being given to the undead. No, it couldn't have. It could have gone down here and been there. It could have gone down there and been undead would have been very dangerous. Or it could have gone down here and then been thrown out and been there and it would have been very so they were like there were some dangerous spots, but uh I guess not even too dangerous, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean if it'd been an eight or more it would have been terrible going this direction. The problem is there's lots of scatters that aren't good for you, isn't there? I think just try and 
try and get some people around the ball is probably the best you can do. No, the mummy just did instantly. Well, it's not instantly getting hit, right? He's going to 1D this guy at the end. But, um. It's risky. <laughs> it's all risky. The problem is you're playing against lizard men, and it's all risky because they're all strength form monsters, aren't they? Like, there's no real good moves versus lizard men. It's a problem. It's a big problem. Do you know if Spartacus plays tabletop Shamba? Because this is a this is a very strange lizard man build, and it seems a very skill intensive build as well. Which I just I don't like. I don't like the idea of a skill intensive build, right? Like it's the same as kind of like you know like magic and stuff, right? If you've got like these kind of silver bullet strategies, if they don't work, then it's just rubbish, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Whereas uh, I just like, you know, um, oh, she's not making that blocks here, just instantly getting them and me punched. Yep, that's not great. Um, so, you know, I just like loads of redundancy and like, you know, just the most powerful things and just don't bother with like two boxes, right? I think, I, f I think like two boxes are kind of like underrated for tabletop. Now, I could be wrong, of course, and I know. I know tabletop whiz. But the thing is, especially in tabletop as well, right? Like the fact that you're playing like three games and another three games and stuff, and it's like it's draining, isn't it? It's mentally draining. These games are mentally draining. I just want, I'd much rather just have six things that are all the same, that I can plug any of them in and they all do the same job, rather than thinking, all oh, right, here's my guards, what's the best spare for this guard? I have only want to make, um, how many blocks am I making this turn? I want to make them all with block, and then how do I do that and stuff? And just like, it's just hard, right? It's just extra, extra mental weight, which uh, isn't great. It's so gonna beat him off with block. And there we go, that's why we didn't like that, that mummy base. <laughs> like, I, I didn't like it even if he was gonna punch the Saurus, really, but I, I, I excused it by he was gonna block the Saurus, but um, he didn't block the Saurus, so it was just an instant, instant smash. guess he can block him but he, but he doesn't have a plate of blitz does he oh no he does yeah he can follow and he's got two assists yeah 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 he can blitz with a skink so then he should stand this guy up right should have stood him up after he got the knockdown no he's blitzing with him not clearing the ball It's the pow. I quite like clearing the ball, right, with a skink. Could have blip, could have made this block first, and then you've got two assists. You can you can two dice him with a skink, and then make the pickup. I quite liked, and then you still just leave that guy on tackle, right? Oh my god, he's failed again. <laughs> Four pickup fails. Oh my god, crazy scatter. Flip me, guys, but both mummies down means that there's not a whole lot of things Nuru can do. <laughs> Four turns without picking up the ball. Flip me. So he's going to mummy rush to Blitz. This is actually great, isn't it? Because then that gives him the 2D on this Saurus. And then he's got a mummy on these guys, which is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Kemri. It's a crazy, uh, crazy that like he's under pressure just from failing pickups. <laughs> Spartacus, because he would be absolutely bludgeoning uh, Nuru down the field. Right, two removals to nothing. Mummy stunned. 
Like he's completely dominating him apart from he just can't pick up the ball at all. Bl blocking with the uh, zombie just to get the ghoul free. And he's already blitzed. He can't uphill this tackler. That's all right. Reroll. Oh, and he fails. Instant one in nine. Maybe it's more like a one in ten. <laughs> I mean, every turn it's just looking brutal for the undead, but Spartacus keeps failing to pick up the ball. <laughs> but obviously this is very easy to clear the ball now. And, uh... We're getting to the point where he might actually have to re-roll the pickup. Another removal. So more like a 1 in 10? That's 1 in 11, isn't it? 89 is a 1 in 9. So 91 is more like a 1 in 11. That's a huge... Uh, that's a huge difference. <laughs> Let's say one in ten. Yep, yep, pick up fail here could be an absolute disaster. Running out of time. This is a lovely block, by the way. Gets uh well <laughs> gets him removed. I was gonna say it gets uh gets that Saurus onto the mummy and the Why, but it doesn't, it removes him. Uh Honestly, at this point, you just want to like put the put the chameleon skink on there before the pickup. I would call this a mistake. I would genuinely call that a mistake. That pickup, because the 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 fail is the only chance he has right now. You're so far ahead. I would say put the camo skink here or here, right? One of those two squares with the camo skink. Um, just because like you're so ridiculously, insanely far ahead. You don't like basing the girl. I like basing the girl here, here. Because if you if you fail the pickup, that's the only way you lose, right? That's the problem. If you fail the pickup here, bounce, bounce, he scores. Instant. If you've based him, okay, he still probably scores, but at least it's a bit harder. Yeah, maybe maybe he's put the skink there. The lizards are absolutely annihilating the undead. And he's got a reserve. So. And you're not going to get cast <laughs> every time you get hit. <laughs> so I would be covering the absolute only way I can lose in that situation, I think is reasonable. But, yes, if the only way you lose is a 1 in 9 chance, then... I don't know. I still it's a one in nine is still quite long. I mean well that would have been better, yeah. And then we go look, there's a Kaz. Which uh evens the odds a little bit. Apple goes in instantly, as you'd expect.
<laughs> Does he have the tackle? One, two, three, four, five, six. He can hit with a tackle, but to hit with a tackle, he's got to hit the mummy first, which isn't easy. So maybe he won't hit with a tackle. Maybe he'll just blitz with this guy. I don't know. Tricky in it. He's got he's got plenty of time. He's got two rerolls. <laughs> ah, so he's not blitzing the ghoul. I mean, he's definitely going to walk through in cage, but it's it's you know you've got to think about who you're blitzing, haven't you? As you've got, and he's not going to blitz the ghoul at all. He's taking down the mummy. Um. Why don't high level players never pass the ball? So I mean, first of all, it's is a strategy. It's it's too risky and bad. <laughs> yeah, that's basically right. So they will pass when they have to, right? When they have to, like, if they have to score this turn, like doing a one turn or a two turn, if you have to score, if, you know, if you have to make a pass, you'll make a pass. But it doesn't make really any sense to pass it unless you have to. So it's just always, yeah, it's always like, you know, there's a huge payoff for doing it, or there's no other choice, basically, of the two times. But, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, even the good throwers, it's still like a one in 36 to fail, and there's wildly inaccurate, which is unbelievably terrible. So you really don't want a wildly inaccurate ever. Well, hey, there you go, Dimmy. Smash or pass is a really good name for a blood ball team, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you don't see them rushing unless they have to or the payoff is massive, right? So it's the same kind of thing. I mean, you don't see them dodging unless they have to or the payoff is big. Obviously, elves dodge a lot more because the one in 36 but even then you'll see you know people like strider do everything they can to avoid making a two plus dodge with dodge the problem is yeah it's only superficially similar to football i mean it is in the fluff and the art and the you know the fluff and the art it's very much similar to football but um yeah to make it play like it would be very difficult indeed So got a few players back. Mm. I didn't really like this. <laughs> I feel like he needed to strand the mummy, right? He didn't strand the mummy. I found it very strange that he didn't strand the mummy. But, you know, he can still bits the mummy here. With block, he's got a block blitz. So he can blitz it with block and then... Uh... In fact, he can block this guy first, right? And then he can blitz it back with block. And he can move everyone else up, so it should be fine. Turn seven. Smashing here, yeah. <laughs> I mean, even if you make passing automatic, right? If passing was automatic, every pass was automatically 
um, accurate and automatically caught. <laughs> I mean, then it would be good because then you would just, then your ball carrier, you would barely have to protect him because then you just put him there and then you just whack the ball the other side of the pitch and stuff, right? So then it would be like defending would be really hard. And then you would see people passing every turn. Like if it was free, if it was no dice to pass, you could just teleport the ball. You'd be teleporting the ball all over the place, right? And they could never catch it. But you wouldn't be you wouldn't be like doing it like American football. You wouldn't be like, you know, having the quarterback and then waiting till turn eight and then passing it. You would be you'd be like, aha, I'll teleport it over here and then I'll run my team over there and then teleport the ball back over there and then push down and, and then he'll put all of his team down here and then you'll teleport the ball back over there and run around. So like you wouldn't if even if you could pass a ridiculous amount, you wouldn't be doing it like like football anyway. This is uh it's he's let in this uh movement ten mummy in the back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight square hits him. There's a there's not a uh, there's not a <laughs> he's followed though. <laughs> Was that a misclick? Because this guy can reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. So I think he, maybe you misclicked this follow. Or misthought. Either misthinked or mis. Either misclicked or misthinked. One of the two. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush. Two dice on the ball with wrestle. Not bad. Doesn't even need to uphill now. Oh, he makes the five plus dodge. Outrageous. <laughs> Outrageous. Outrageous. Oh man, all he had to do was just not follow as well. Ugh. Unbelievable, Jeff. Not a lot he can do now, is there? He's got like four players left. <laughs> Rolls a one. Also, like you want to be able to, you want to be able to one turn, don't you? Like one turn. Oh my god, he didn't even. Oh, okay, because he's thinking of doing some of the tackle, but out of one deed, him with block to try and knock him down and help the souls. This seems like it cannot be enough, right? This just cannot be enough. just hasn't got the players in fact what I would have done is I'd have got this ghoul blitzed him and then come back and then 2 deed the crocs because this just seems a waste of everybody's time <laughs> is he getting 3 diced even 4, 5, 6, 7 yeah he's even getting 3 diced the push and gets the perfect turn eight stall never in doubt apart from the four pickup fails in a row okay he's just flexing he's going to do the dimmy g trademark dance i would have gone in here you know not dance but he wants to get to the middle of the field mapping the perfect dance here yeah. what a player guys no hexa skulls yet. <laughs> like that's the thing. Like it's just not worth. It's just not worth trying, is it? Right. Better to put through the guy and then, uh, and then get two dice on the crocs. He could have killed that crocs with the two dice, you know, with block. So there you go. 
first half ends three minutes used of time bank for Spartacus which isn't uh, isn't terrible is it this, this game can't go over time oh by the way Nuru has the halfling cheerleaders 10 out of 10 uh, basic ones for Spartacus basic coaching staff yeah basic coaching staff as well sad but Nuru does have the premier cheerleaders you get some points for that amazing KOs 3 out of 4 and he gets a second chance as well Do you know what, Dimmy? I, I am. I actually am dressed as the cheerleader. Um, unfortunately, of course, I don't have a face cam on, so you'll just have to trust me. <laughs> oh, in France! <laughs> oh my God, we could all get them. We could all get them. <laughs> How good would that be? <laughs> All three of us just turn, just turn up on like day three, dressed as halfling cheerleaders. <laughs> that would be pretty great. <laughs> I'd do it. <laughs> oh, so yeah, he's put the skink on the line because he's got the replacement skink in reserve anyway, right? And obviously the undead aren't going to try a one turn. They're also not going to try to hit anybody with a mummy because he got, <laughs> he got pitch inversion. there but then he wouldn't have got two dice on the saws so I guess with two rerolls he didn't care no one reroll oh god yeah that's a good point that's a good point tree oh man <laughs> we'd both we'd both turn up with chicken costumes on and he he'd be dressed as a halfling chef <laughs> I mean, he's got to foul him, right? He's got he's got the reserve, even if he fails the KO. So absolutely has to gang foul this Saurus. You'll do nothing. tall for a chef. A bit tall for a halfling. He's not tall for a chef. <laughs> um, the KOs fail, so that's pretty unlucky, isn't it? Cause actually, getting a three out of four back is average over two rolls, but uh, keeping the guard out, and especially after, you know, getting three out of four already, a little bit unlucky to be missing that guard. And uh, pretty critical as well, that guard versus all of the strength four from the lizards. This is going to be a tough drive for Nuru, but if he can chip Saurus with the mummies, now he's on the front foot, isn't he, receiving? So if he can, you know, get rid of the Crocs or a Saurus or two, and all of a sudden this drive will turn from absolutely appalling to quite manageable. Gets the cheeky free catch attempt. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so big hits now from the mummies to give New Root basically a chance. Uh, just because he's got block, right? Just because he's got block to hit the souls. He's got guard and uh, an assist, so it's just a block player. Yes, he might get targeted or like, you know, marked out by Saurus, but at the end of the day, he's also a block player. Yes, he's a tackle player, but he's also just a block player, so you need that reliability. I mean, I guess he could have put the wrestle over there. What if the rest get smashed? <laughs> the unblocked source is a blitz magnet. Yeah, that's, that's that. I mean, that is the problem. Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations, BB. No. Yeah, that's, that's the thing, the unblocked Saurus, like, it's like with here, it's like the guard ones, right? The guard ones are just going to be targeted all the time. And 75% knockdown instead of 55 is pretty massive. But, I mean, that's if people can target them at all, right? And on, Spartacus has played great at protecting his things. Yeah. I don't like it. It's already so many. It's all. It's already so much TV, and it's already unreliable with Bonehead. What a weird setup. <laughs> It's to be, it's like an eye, isn't it? Kind of, you can kind of draw an eye. <laughs> but yeah, just protecting his ghouls and his tackler and the ball all at the same time. You could 2D skink this with a million dodges, but uh, it's certainly not anything that anybody would, any normal brain would try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's an eye cage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the EYE cage, yeah. So anyway, um, Nuru's big LOS did nothing. <laughs> Is it only seven? Wow. You're better than me then, Shunba. I thought it was more than that. Yeah, he's almost got to push down there, hasn't he? But the problem is the Saurus will just come straight over, like the movement six. <laughs> it's so hard. it's so hard for the undead. They just need to chip a Saurus. Lizard men, pretty good. <laughs> Hello, Jack Bro. It's your fault. It's your fault for the uh, for the non-fractional scoring, Jack Bro. Outrageous stuff. 
Oh my god, that's incredible. <laughs> that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, highly boy. Man. Man, I'm pretty sad about that, honestly. Lose by losing by one point is already bad enough, but then then when you know, oh no, fractional points you would have won. Comedy mega. So the problem here is and the great thing about Spartacus's build is both of these mummies are about to get knocked over. <laughs> <laughs> Which is uh, a problem, isn't it? A big problem. A real big problem that both of these are about to get knocked over. Yeah, I would have got, got a bunch more. I mean, I, I don't know exactly, but like I did it roughly and I, I, I was already two ahead, so I was like, I've got to... Uh, I just did it roughly, but I'm like, this is two points, so that's like, that's me winning by a point instead of, like, even if I've messed up, like, I've won by a half a point or whatever, right? No, I mean, I, I added up, like, yeah, I mean, I did both of ours. And, uh, roughly. And... I mean, don't quote me on it, <laughs> but you had something like 0.7 and I had like 2.7, so. So just the blitz, so you don't have to block with the guard. He does a good job of like blitzing with the block every turn, right? And making all the blocks with block all the time. Very good, very good Spartacus. He really does. I think he's really been playing great this time. Yeah, you've got you've got a chain there, first, but he's still he's still got enough assists to uh, to keep this going. Yeah, guard in there. Oh, no, not guard in there, is it? He actually should have not put guard in there. The block should have gone in there to cancel that. And then he could have followed here and put guard in there with a the skin. And then he would have had a 2D here. But instead he gets a skull. So, you could call that a mistake, but you know, he could have wanted the extra source back here. It's tackle, right? So it's not it's not necessarily a mistake. He's got something out of it, but it's a bit risky doing a one day, right? And now, um with some bad dice, Nuru's got some chances to do things. They were tragic block dice, yeah. Yep, tragic. I think you should just hit the Saurus, right? Just bang the Saurus. Get them knocked down. If you bang out a Saurus, you, it's so much better than banging out a Skink, basically. That's the, that's the thing. It's so much more important to remove Saurus than Skinks. got to flute the cat. You've got to. The most important part of Blood Bowl really is. Max two dice blocks you make. Minimise two dice blocks you take. It's uh, worse to live by. <laughs> there you go. 
It's the eternal question. Ugh, this is a bit grim, isn't it? He could he could blitz this block Soros with wrestle. Probably should. But he's not gonna. That's true. I've got a I've got a ridiculous Reddit streak. <laughs> it's called something like Basement Dweller. <laughs> Two hundred and eleven day streak. Uh, of saying things on Reddit or like upvoting things. On Reddit. Oh, well, did nothing. So, I feel like there's things that can happen here. Mostly just half of the undead team getting knocked over, right? You probably don't even need to care about what you're doing here, just smash things and hope for the best, honestly. <laughs> That's probably the play. Don't think too much. Just smash things. You might be able to, but it's probably more worth just trying to smash the mummies, right? And keep the mummy keep the mummies controlled. That blunts their offense. Then he tries something dodgy. And then you take the ball off him. And win. You don't have to chain anybody in or do anything special. But like, it, it, it was possible for sure. But I prefer the... Uh, I prefer the the kind of conservative play, right, of like making him try to beat you. Bang, bang, bang. I mean, it is, right? There's, there is a certain amount of skill in ordering. The problem with this is, in getting this two dice block, this could be over blocking. Because this skink was was keeping the sideline closed, wasn't he? And now the sideline is open. So maybe this time he should have one dice blocked the uh, mummy. Honestly, maybe he should have one dice blocked the mummy this time because this this moving this skink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The problem is, I just don't see him scoring any other way, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, this is the problem. The problem is... The problem is... For the, uh, the undead... Like, I just don't see them doing anything else. <laughs> He's got... All four ghouls will be free after this mummy punches him. Yeah, just not even block, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think he shouldn't have moved him. Blocking's probably not better than not blocking though, right? Because 50 50, you put him down. I think that's better than letting him 2D you. So, all right, he's freeing the mummy up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's that's much better. 
That's much better, isn't it? Getting the money on there. So, I mean, you could do a few rushes this turn, but it looks pretty strong. And, like, you might get forced in early, but still, getting forced in early is still kind of a win, right? Like, it's kind of sad. That that's where you're at. <laughs> that that's basically a win. <laughs> Getting forced in early. <laughs> Versus lizards. This mummy is actually doing a lot of work here. Otherwise, things could have happened. Yeah, exactly, it's better than not, Scott, exactly. Exactly. Like, there's a good chance versus Lizards, as a bash team, you end your drive 1-0 down. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, get going 1-0 up at least means, you know, you've got a chance to, to draw. Yeah, the skull, I mean, that, it's fair enough, the skull's pretty bad to leave, but, I don't know. I would have definitely, I would have definitely kept the skink there anyway, whatever happened, because I just, I would have gone for this, as Nuru, right? Knowing how hard it is. So, I would know he'd go for that if I moved the skink. And I wouldn't want him to go for that because it's got a chance of working. Two in the ball, yeah, probably, but I understand like just being conservative and pressure the stall, isn't it? At this point, you can pressure the stall and get yourself a short drive back, it's pretty good. The mummies have done pretty well at getting hit, yeah. There's a few. We've dodged a few to 75% chances, yep. Like this, look, this looks pretty hard to start out, doesn't it? This looks like ball carrier blitz, then score. But at least you scored. So, good defence by Spartacus. <laughs> say something. What do you want me to say, Dimmy? I don't know. I think this is enough from Spartacus. I think this is enough from Spartacus. I think... Uh, oh my god, he sucked off a reroll. I think this is enough. I think I think I think Nuru will score.
<laughs> cast like you've never casted before. I don't know what do you mean. People are saying they're enjoying them, so what if I what if I uh, what if I changed it? I can't change now. I've just got to keep saying interesting more and more. This guy's now filled three KOs. Skink stays out, but it doesn't matter. So Spartacus has got four turns to win the game. If he can pick up the ball in four turns, he's got a chance. <laughs> yes. Yes, Chandra. Yeah, rule of five doesn't seem great, does it? Felt like he just had it saved, he loaded it up, he didn't think. Brilliant coaching. Oh God, it's over. He, he gives the he gives the lizards a third reroll. Oh dear. Oh dear God. <laughs> the lizards have now become unstoppable. Wow! Went for the crocs block. Well, it'd be really tempting to like block with a tackler, right? So that he could then blitz the mummy with a block. But seeing as he apparently is, it's just impossible for him to knock over mummies. Uh, maybe it just didn't matter. Maybe he's just gonna blitz the uh, zombie there. It is a sort of tackle, yeah, fine, yeah. Hilariously, you know, a lot of really good players criticized a lot of really bad players. <laughs> who said that three block <laughs> Saurus was a good build. And it turns out Spartacus is doing pretty great with them. But he is down in two minutes of time bank. Oh my god, pick up on somebody else. He can't do it. He re-rolled and failed as well. Honestly, he, honestly, you probably should have brought back this skink, right? So that if he failed to pick up, he could then pick up on a real skink next turn. That was probably a good idea. Or maybe even just picked up on this one this turn anyway, right? If you think about it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? There was no reason to pick up on this one. This was the wrong. This was absolutely the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Levy. Yeah. This was the wrong one. Even this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there was no reason to pick up on this chameleon skink. It was incorrect, um, but it was also really incorrect to one in nine the pick up. And look, this guy just moving would have been better anyway. He's being based now, so. Oh, it's exciting though. At least it's exciting. Oh, also feel the catch, yeah, oh god. They get rid of this chameleon skin. Terrible. The funny thing is, camo skinks are like insane in Warhammer. They're like the most one of the most overpowered units in the entire game. And yet in Blood Bowl, they're just like basically worse than a normal skink. <laughs> it's really weird. Uh, the special skill, it's got on the ball and shadowing. Um, and it's got passing, it's also got like passing uh, ability 3 plus and it can have passing skills. So it's good for like one and two touchdowns. Um, but yes, it's got minus MA, which is horrendous for like, you know, most of the time. Most of the time, it's worse than a regular skink. It's kind of good when you're trying to one or two turn and you need him to, you know, catch the ball. And then, like, he gives you an extra 50-50 to catch the ball sometimes. Blitz defense. Um, extra player near the ball when he should have tried to pick up with the skink. This skink should absolutely be here. And the chameleon skink there. 
Um, so, bit of a mistake there from Spartacus. Yeah, yeah, they sh they could have they could have like foul appearance, right? They could have had like foul. They could have trickster, you know, like the gnomes have tri trickster. Chameleon skinks would have trickster. Now that it's a keyworded ability, it could just have trickster. Or like foul appearance, yeah, it'd be like where did you where did he go or whatever, right? In fact, foul appearance could be like the old foul appearance. Where you you know you test when you actually hit them, not when you declare it, and then Chameleon Skin could have the good version of foul appearance where you don't even get the move. Exactly, BB job. I mean that's that's what they're doing, so it makes sense to do that, right? If that's what you're doing, then that's what you should do. <laughs> yeah, suddenly they'd be great. <laughs> Suddenly, chameleon skinks would be pretty great, yeah. Tricksters on, like, literally anything other than gnomes is incredible. <laughs> I don't know what this turn is. After bigging up Spartacus for the whole game, this turn is suspect. Yeah. Okay, so I guess he's going to dodge off this skin. And he's going to try and like cage up over here. Or here. Or here. Here. Problem is this one, isn't it? Because if you go there, then now you've got to dodge this. You can uphill for a 2D with tackle now. I like just one across, and then you've got an actual cage, right? Oops, skulls. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is interesting. Well, pulling the crocs is a completely valid move. It's risky, obviously, without block. It's a lot risky without block. But it's possible, isn't it? Like, it's really quite risky. <laughs> it's really quite risky without block. But he's he's at that point in time where... You know, maybe he's got to do it. Yeah, the upside is incredible. You push him to here and you get one, two, three, four, five, six. Rush, hit the ball. Uh, he can mark him first. And then 2D on the ball with block and tackle. I mean they're lizards so maybe <laughs> Nuru's gone for like the safe move of bringing the ghouls back this knockdown helps him doesn't it the skull there he's got one player behind the ball which isn't great but he does get a pow and bases the ball which is okay at this stage you know, either he's got a 1 in 9 away or he's got to use his blitz backwards. So. It's. Uh, yeah, you really, do, you really don't want to blitz back. But then also, you don't want to roll a 1 in 9 and lose, do you? So. Having said that, there's really only this school as a scoring threat because he'd have to chain this one. So, um, at the moment, Spartacus could blitz back 
and on a push, he's uh, he's defended the score. So actually, you probably do want to blitz back, right? You can punch these guys, blitz back, and then you're free rolling to victory. Then, yeah. So. That was not quite enough from Nuru. Yep, it gets powered. Does it first even? Doesn't doesn't do anything except just instantly get him. And now anything else he wants to do, there's nothing really stopping him, is it? Basically, he can't. The danger is that he tries to move the crocs and it, uh, it boneheads and he can't move it away. But. Okay, here we go. Two skinks to go with him. Wishes he was movement 8 right now. Yeah, big big mistake actually by Spartacus to pick up with the chameleon skink and not a real one. Pow, 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 pow. Yeah, if he'd rushed, he could have rushed here and then 2D'd him and then on a pow, he gets this one out. But what he can do is he can just dodge. He can just dodge the Saurus anyway, right? Which is still a 33 instead of a 55. And then there's no chance of a turnover. Okay, well, he didn't do that. I mean, he still could. You don't want to rush though, do you? I don't want to rush. Oh, you mean next turn, yeah. Ah, oh, right, yeah, yeah, if you snake, I don't know. The thing is though, if you snake, then he can get the ball, right? He can blitz and he can just pick it up. I, I think, yes, if he snakes next turn, yeah, true, true. But the thing is, you could rush, use a reroll, right, and then lose the ball or whatever, and now not have a reroll next turn, right, like this. So you could have rushed and used your reroll, whereas now you still got to re you still got your reroll. So no, I don't agree with rush. I don't agree with rush. I'm happy not rushing. That was an alright turn, wasn't it? By the way, that was an alright blitz. <laughs> and fully enough, if he had, you know, tried the 5 plus dodge, or the rush to assist there, or not falling, or whatever. Yeah, he could have had a cage. And Nuru looks to have escaped by the skin of his teeth. Mind, there's a pretty easy, there's, well, there's a super easy clear into a two dice on the ball. So, and he's got this reroll still. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah all, all, the, all the tackle one, yeah. Tackle one's better. But the tackle one's a little bit harder to free, is it? No, not really. Put him in. Just think about pushes. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe you just go with a block. Yeah, that, that's the problem about going for the rush this turn, right? Because if he went for the rush and he used the reroll, then now he hasn't got a reroll for this turn. So. I don't think it was definitely correct to rush. 
with the ball. Like, there are times when it just is, right? But the fact that the ball was hittable, I think, is enough to make it right to not rush. Yeah, probably should you move the crocs in first, right? You should have moved the crocs in first into that square to see if the crocs worked. Croc should have been the first one. Blockless block. And here we go. Saurus full blitz. Gets the pow. Follows. Catches it. <laughs> well done. Well done, Superstar Saurus. You little magnet hands. And there you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, indeed, Nayagi. Yeah, as soon as he falls, it's like, well, he's definitely catching it then. Um, so there you go. Nuru kind of escapes that one, I think, with a 1 1. Um, I feel like he was under the cosh a lot of the time. Had to score early, but. Got away with it, got the draw, and you know, if next game, you know, if he gets the bunch of removals from the mummies, he could get an easier time of it, but uh, I feel like that was tougher for Nuru than it was for Sartacus, but there you go, it was a draw. Uh, GG, well played both. Thanks for watching everybody. Well, no, I should say, they're going to play a second round game, right? They're going to play a second game at some point in the future. Um, I think it's actually tomorrow, tomorrow at, at halfway, yeah. Tomorrow at half eight, they're going to play the second game. And if one of them wins in six, the 16 turn game, if one of them wins, they go through. If the second game is also a draw, they will play a third game with overtime as a tiebreaker. Yeah, it is a tough matchup for the undead. Yeah, but they do, they can chip Saurus, right? They've got Mighty Blow. They've got a few Mighty Blows, so they can chip, and they've got Strength 5, so they, they can chip Saurus. It's kind of hard to deal with the, with the mummies. It's actually a bit easier for Spartacus if he can get his guard uh, Saurus around to hit the mummies back, right? But usually it's hard to hit the, harder to hit the mummies than it is for uh, Spartacus. So this build doing things very well. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.